Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Andy's Reviews. Thanks for joining me for my second review tonight. Two reviews in a night. I must be feeling much better after my <coughs> little illness, which stopped me drinking the first two weeks of the year. Um, this is what we've got then this time. This is a New Zealand Farmhouse Pale Ale from a Pipeline Brewing Company down in Cornwall. Brand new brewery to me. Looking forward to trying this one. 4.6% uh, for a moment. Yeah, 4.6% ABV. Um, yeah, looking forward to this. Got this from Yorkshire Craft Beer. Paid £5.10 p for it. Looking forward to this for uh, several reasons. Um, I like the concept of. Ooh, open. I like the concept of uh, farmhouse beers. Uh, farmhouse beers originally were brewed on farms for farm workers. So if you imagine all that hard work they have to do. Um, spring summer time, um, getting in the harvest, then beers were brewed on the farm for those workers and that's kind of how it all came along. Now it don't quite mean that, it does sometimes, I think some, in, in places in Europe I think you don't know how to call it a farmhouse beer or ale if uh, it's, bar, it's born, if it's brewed in a uh, farmyard or on a farm. Uh, but nowadays for me it just means um, as a beer it's going to be a little bit lighter it's going to be and I don't mean it's a bad way it's going to be a little bit rustic so just really really simple uh, it's going to be really easy drinking at 4.6% I expect it to be really easy drinking it might have something like some earthy tones going through a little bit a, a dryness at the back end but ultimately it's going to be delicious the second thing it's a New Zealand farmhouse pale and if it's, which it will be, if it'll have uh, New Zealand hops in there, kind of hoping for a bit of white grape to come through because I do like that with my beers. Get excited when I get those little bits of um, white grape coming through because I do like that flavour. Um, right, so on the pour, that has poured a hazy light straw colour. It did pour with a, a little white head, um, probably in gassing, and it's now virtually disappeared. Let's get your over, shall we? That smells nice. That smells, it smells sweet. You got those pale malts, malts coming through. A little bit of citrus as well. Not necessarily a little bit of citrus, quite a bit of citrus coming through. That smells lovely smells all right but what's it taste like don't know let's find out shall we cheers everybody that's nice that is nice Simple flavours, which is what we thought it would be with the style it is. It's, first and foremost, it's quite zesty. It's a really zesty beer. It's got the sweetness from the malts, from those pale malts, and then just citrus all the way. So you got a little bit of zing of lemon, a little bit of orange in there, a little bit of lime in there, a little bit of pineapple. It's nice. It's a lovely citrusy pale ale. None of the uh, white grape vibes coming through, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping for those white grapes. But no, it's good. I do, like I said, I like the concept of those um, <coughs> farmhouse ales and originally what they were there to do. You can't imagine it nowadays, can you? Um, unless you work in a brewery. People brewing beer for their workers. I guess there must be some farms out there that still do something similar. 
Or maybe not. Maybe it, maybe it is a lost art. Maybe it's something that's now no longer there. If you know the farm that brews beer for their workers, let me know in the comments. We just know. Really, really hoppy and very flavoursome. Tad light, but it's a style. Like I said, with the farmhouse style, we expect a lighter beer. We expect something. To be fair, four point six percent. I think for a farmhouse beer, I think that's quite, quite good for a farmhouse beer. See it way, why not? Let's have a little read now, shall we? Uh, vibrant, hoppy, juicy beers crafted on the North Cornwall coast using fresh ingredients and Cornish water. We create, uh, tell about them. We, we create exciting craft beers that showcase the best of new world hops. Interesting notice on the front it says uh, batch crafted beer. So these guys will do small batches. And stuff, but when they get a winner like this, when they get a good beer like this, I hope they carry it on. Um, water, barley, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. Obviously, it's hazy, so we uh, we expect the oats in there. Hops, Simcoe, and then some Australian ones, Motuka, and Haiti. Haiti, don't know, but yeah, so it's got those using hops in there, which is what we expected. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that enough to score that. I'm going to score that eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten for Manny's beer reviews. We are drinking tonight. Please enjoy it until the very next review. Cheers, everybody.